the world on your team Even if that ain't what it seems It's one time for the underdog Hey, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Desi J and I'm coming to you today to talk about my smile correct journey and here are some things that I wish I knew before I started smile direct <sighs> Okay, so if you guys don't know um, smile direct is a company and it basically is supposed to straighten your teeth and it's very much like Invisalign um and I did I did feel like I did some research before I started um and I even looked up some videos here on YouTube and they weren't as informative as I would like them to be and here are my concerns that I figured out after beginning Smile Direct now the first major shocker that was to me is that um is actually not the um not when you go and get the scan done the scan was like completely expected it was perfectly fine 3d um and everything went pretty well in the scan um what happened was after the scan i wasn't expecting to pay on the spot because um i thought they would do like the scan projections and then after they showed me what they could do for me um i would pay no they did the scan and before they even tell you what they could do for you or if you're a good candidate um, they ask you for your card information and they tell you if you're approved um, that they're gonna charge your card so that's before you even see the rendering so um, my card was charged I believe it was like two three hundred dollars I don't even remember um, but it was charged an amount before I had begun anything and I hadn't seen production projections or anything they just decided yeah and then they charged my card and I was like ah, what um, and then um so I had no idea about that then also when I got my first bill when I got my first like small direct payment thing um, it was before I got my aligners so it was like wait a second pump your brakes y'all didn't give me anything yet I already gave y'all 200 bucks y'all want another 80 from me now um but I don't have anything and you're you're sending me these cute little emails like Oh, we're cooking. <laughs> Y'all about to be cooking me a refund. Like, what are you talking about? So that was very, very, very annoying and frustrating to me. Um, it did take about, I want to say, eight weeks, six to eight weeks to get um, my aligners. And I received a box and I have the box for you. So I got a box like this. This is a box, not a box like this. And I was, I don't know what I was expecting. No, I actually do know what I was expecting. What I was expecting when I started the Small Direct Journey was maybe to get like um, an aligner or two, like maybe a month's worth or two months worth of aligners. My teeth have always been straight. You guys have been watching my videos. I'm only on week three. I'm just trying to com correct my like um, bike problem. So um, I, I expect to get like a month worth of aligners and then have to go in for like periodical checkups to see if my teeth are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing instead here's what I got so I got this small box it came with chewies I have never used them it came with like these brightening things and it kind of works with the little brightening machine they give you um, that plugs into your cell phone so I thought it was super cool when you do your 3d scan um, but I don't I, I didn't use them I don't have a teeth whitening problem anymore um well, I don't think so. It, I got this little lip balm, small direct balm, and I was like, okay, we're going good, we're going good. And then, these are month two aligners, and I'm, I'm finishing up month one aligners. Month four aligners. Month three aligners. Sorry. Um month six aligners so there are no checkups like they just sort of throw all these aligners at you and they're like yeah okay go ahead and it's like wait 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 what if one don't fit so i joined the small direct facebook group to sort of um ask these questions like what if one don't fit and basically you're gonna contact the company for like a refinement and um go into another small shop and do that thing over again but 
that takes like um, seven to ten business days for them to mail you out your new ones. So you're basically halting your process and you're supposed to wear the aligners that you last had. So it's like that last fits you um, perfectly. And it's like so you might be wearing liners for like two extra weeks um and it's sort of putting a halt on your process and i thought that was a little bit ridiculous because um hello why would i do that um another thing that i found interesting but that was like my most jarring thing about the process i was like excuse me um another thing that they don't tell you until after of course after everybody does that is that you're required to wear your liners 22 hours a day meaning that you sleep in them meaning that you you um and they say it's like really simple um to eat you just take your liners off but since you're supposed to be wearing it for 22 hours a day meaning that you have to condense all your meals um snacks everything included into two hours um <laughs> so it's a little bit uh frustrating um so and that's not just meals so i want you to think about everything i want you to think about sex like you got <laughs> you only have two hours so like if you finna give fellatio for 20 minutes you only got an hour and 40 minutes to eat your food breakfast lunch and dinner and if you get a little peckish like <laughs> it's 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 really interesting um yeah no that's really interesting also before you take out um when you take out your aligners oh my god i swear <laughs> There's another thing about the liners. I'm trying to be as candid and as honest with you guys as I can. Because I don't want you guys to come in and be like, I had no idea. I watched Desi J's video and she didn't tell me nothing. Like, no, I want to tell you guys everything. So embarrassing. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing for me to tell you guys. Um, sorry, it's a little bit embarrassing for me to tell you guys. Um, <laughs> when I first took them out, <laughs> yo, the smell... <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to put them back. Yeah, I said, oh, that's why they sent those many. Because I ain't putting these back in. <laughs> and I was like, you had to brush them, brush the liner. Plaque is building up inside the liner. It's like disgusting. And I brush my teeth like maybe five, six times a day now. Which has helped with the whiteness. <laughs> um, But no, that's ridiculous. Also, the pain. No one told me that these things are going to hurt. And I know you're thinking like, oh, well, duh, they're going to. No, 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 Hurt. I mean, like, I slept first day, first two days. I slept with an ice pack like this. Like, this is how I slept. With a whole ice pack. It came from here to here. Just like this. Because it was so ridiculous. And then I used to take, um, for the first week, I took ore gel. And I rubbed my whole gums with orange gel, teeth included, just like orange gel everywhere. Then slapped in the um the aligner. Then had I because <laughs> it hurt that bad. And I'm writing in the small direct group like, hey, is this supposed to be this painful? Like, I thought them them fit. I I thought they sent me the wrong size. I said, uh uh, this cannot be my size. And I'm like, uh uh uh, snap that it snapped down. I was like. No. Hell no. Like, it was so bad. Week two did get better. Week three is um, a lot better. Oh, yeah, you change them out weekly, which I also didn't know. I thought it would be more like a monthly thing, but no, it's like a weekly. Um, and every time you change them out, it's basically like getting your braces tightened. So it's an interesting experience. Week two definitely hurt a lot less than week one. And week three and four um, hurt a lot less as well it was still um week three and four was definitely grab an ice pack um but i didn't need or gel and week two was just sort of like <sighs> no week two i didn't feel like i needed or, or gel or ice pack it was just like annoying now another thing is this lisp that i have um is the lisp <laughs> so as you guys know i'm a school teacher so i speak for m my whole day pretty much and my students didn't notice and I'm like y'all really don't care about me <laughs> but I do speak for majority of my day and it was really interesting for me to try and especially when I was in pain and my mouth is sore and I was doing like like I couldn't even like oh my god I couldn't deal I would have kids read stuff like yeah read okay work okay writing let's focus on writing right now because 
I can't read, I can't talk right now. And it literally hurts that bad for the first like week or two. Um, now I'm getting better. My mom is telling me that she's on noticing the list. I'm trying to think of more things that I'm just like, yo, what the heck? But yo, that smell when I took it out it was like, oh my god. And like your morning breath, imagine your morning breath because you sleep with them bottled up and like it smells bad when you wake up. But yeah, and then you take it off and it's like you unlocked a new layer of like morning breath and you're like, <sighs> and then like I don't know how people can snap them out and just put it back out because it smells like spit. I cannot so I am currently wearing them I don't know if you guys can tell so I am currently wearing them I do have my week three slash four because it goes month a week one week two week three slash four so I do have my week three slash fours in right now and I will take them out to show you Try and do this in the least disgusting way possible trust me I want some dates with this on and over here behind my napkin like <laughs> you taking me to food places like or the movies you don't realize how much you snack on things until like you have to take out something every time you get to snack it makes you turn down a lot of food especially in the first day oh please i wasn't taking these out for nothing um this is like my third day of week three four so yeah it's all right but it's still gonna hurt to put back in so they give you an outsy tool as well to take it out but honestly if you lock behind here and you put your fingernails in you can pull it out all right and that graphic yo oh so here you go expect your your teeth to bleed um your gums to bleed your teeth to be really sore when you're trying to bite into things like soft foods are definitely going to be your friend expect like yo <laughs> expect you to question why you're doing this all the time um right and also when it comes to wearing lipstick don't wear any lipstick that's like not mad <laughs> because it's bad when lipstick gets on your teeth when lipstick gets on this, it look you look crazy. Crazy. I promise you you look very crazy. Alright, I'm gonna put these back in. I'll put it back in. Ah. Literally my mouth seconds ago. But like it's still like a foreign taste. It's like Um, but yeah, I um some of the pros I guess. I guess I'm a bigger person, so having that like control of snacks is great i haven't seen any really magnificent crazy changes in my teeth um but another thing i want you guys to be aware of is that not everybody's small direct journey is peaches and creams when you're on that facebook group you do see a lot of negative stories you do see um people who got got charged and they did the progression and it wasn't done people who hit month six and then all of a sudden their teeth aren't where it's supposed to be. People who got an underbite. Oh, when they were trying to fit, get straighter teeth and they developed a new problem and other things like that. So you definitely want to go to your dentist prior. Fill in any cavities, please. Because I have a cap missing on this side. And I didn't realize it was going to give me six months work. I thought it would give me one month work. So I go do one month, get my cap on. No, six months work. So now I can't put my cap on. Um, I can't get my cap put back on until six months from now because it's like then if I put a cap on it ruins all these aligners and I would have to start the process over again and I don't know if they would charge me an extra fee but I'm not gonna find out I promise um so that's basically it it's coming to the end of the video um if you guys have any smile direct questions please comment them in the comment section below I love answering your questions. If you're also on a small direct journey, tell me how it's working for you because ow. <laughs> and like the little pieces, sometimes there's like little pieces of plastic that are like poking out and stuff like that. And you're supposed to use an emery board, aka a nail file, um, to like sort of just file it off. But it leaves it like rough. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I want this year to be a great year for us and i want this summer to be an even better summer for us hello j ones so don't forget to like 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 comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye guys